What's up everybody and welcome back to Fallout 4. We are here in Egret Tours Marina and we're going to be taking a look at another settlement build uh, video. <laughs> Can't talk. In the background you can see a small building I created over here by the docks. It's actually on the water and it's a robot workshop up top with a small living area down below for my character when he's visiting this uh, settlement. So I built the huge um, garage door for an opening into the robot workshop so I can get the larger robots in and out, especially those sentry bots. And the uh, ramps you see here are from the scaffolding. They make a great addition, you know, you don't have to be stuck with those thin staircases that some of the robots aren't able to walk up on. And I think it looks pretty good. So let's open this up and take a look inside. So right here, first off, we've got a small you know, shelf with some extra mods, robot mods on the ground, some extra tools, and of course, all of the models from the Automatron DLC proudly being displayed on that middle shelf there. Keep on going, we've got the weapons bench for any kind of weapon modifications we want, and then we've got one of the settlers back here working up some blueprints maybe, trying to, who knows, build up a new, new fancy robot that'll help protect this settlement. Got a couple of the light up posters that are new with the Contraptions Workshop, uh, Contraptions DLC in this workshop. You know, both of them are robot related, trying to keep with the theme. Got your robot workbench right here, and then we've got a small chemistry station back here with a crate of fireworks that I've built so far. So, heading down, this will be the small living area for my character when visiting the settlement. Nothing too fancy, this isn't his main home, so it's just something he needs to uh, get by, spend some time, uh, charge up and relax. So, small desk over here, plenty of storage for any armor and weapons he wants to store or keep at this location. Got a couch just for relaxing, of course you got the bed, and that's about it. So with this structure, I got real lucky when I was building it. The this lower area came as a second thought after I built the top floor and I just lucked out by having enough space down there. And I was happy with how that turned out. The first floor is actually right on top of the water if you come and take a look back here. So I also used the shack floors from the you know under the wood category for structures and it, they look pretty good when you being used in water. You know, like it, it gives it a realistic look that there's actually a structure being built up out of the water. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. Um, at the time of me making this video, I currently sit at 49 subscribers. So hit that subscribe button. Maybe you could be magic number 50. You know, it's a huge milestone for me. And I'm hoping that this video puts me to that threshold. Also hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more. Like I said, this is the first building I'm going to be doing in this settlement. And this is going to be another one of my larger settlement builds. So expect to see a video of that coming in the near future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.